Classification of triangles by angles. Triangles are used every single day in furniture arrangement, movements, construction, and so much more. When you rest a staircase against a wall, you're making a right triangle because the wall makes a right angle with the ground, and the staircase closes the triangle. When you take a shortcut across a patch of grass to get from one side of the sidewalk to the other, you're walking in a triangle. Try to notice all the ways in which you are making triangles in everyday life. Triangles have three sides and three angles. The sum of all the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. Triangles are characterized by the angles within them. There are three different types of triangles. Equilateral triangles, isosceles triangles, scalene triangles. Let's study them in detail. Equilateral triangles. The name of this triangle helps to remember its properties. Equa means equal and lateral means sides. Equilateral triangles have three identical sides and identical angles. No matter what is the length of the sides, equilateral triangles always have three 60-degree angles. Isosceles triangles Two sides of an isosceles triangle are equal, which means that two of its angles will also be equal. The base of an isosceles triangle is always shorter in length than the sides. If the isosceles triangle has a right angle, it is called a right isosceles triangle. A right isosceles triangle has a right angle and two 45-degree angles. Right angles are shown by a square at the line intersection rather than a curve. Scalene triangles All of the sides and angles of a scalene triangle are different. In scalene triangle, the shortest side is opposite to the smallest angle, and the longest side is opposite the largest angle.